time since we've done it this way. Welcome. Good evening. I can't see any of you right now <laughs> due to the blinding lights, but I know you are there. Students, awesome opening. Uh, it is really, really wonderful to welcome you to MBCI tonight to share a gift of music with you. Um, there is a lot to be uh, agitated about, unsettled about in this world and weather. And uh, I can't help but think that when our students picked our verse for this year from the book of John, uh, just how fitting that is and the peace that it offers in so many ways. So I'm going to just read that translation to you now. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That happens to be um, a personal favorite for me. And uh, tonight, as we offer you our gift of music and learning from these amazing young people, I just want to highlight again that the joy in this work, uh, the heart of what we do is about all of them. And you don't have to look far to get a smile in this place or to be encouraged by the things that they say or do or ask. Um, it keeps us young and it keeps us full of life even through a long period of COVID. Right, guys? Yeah. I always say, hey, friends, how are you today? And they're just incredible. So welcome. I'm going to pray right away to open this evening, and I'd like to ask uh, Seth, I think, to come forward. I don't know where he is right now. But Seth is going to share with you about a current MBCI project in, in support of the war in Ukraine right now. Good evening, everybody. Uh, as we celebrate the beauty of music tonight, we want to recognize that there are people around our world who are unable to participate in activities such as this due to many factors including poverty, abuse, and conflict. Our thoughts go out to the citizens of Ukraine who are experiencing severe loss and sorrow at this time. Our school is engaging in a fundraising campaign to help. We are raising funds for the Mennonite Central Committee. Our goal is to raise $4,000 through the sale of sunflowers, the national flower of Ukraine, and through cash donations. Please visit the table outside the foyer tonight for an information on how to purchase sunflowers and how you can contribute. Students in our school painted hearts for Ukraine. 120 hearts were painted, and now each school life group has the challenge of raising 120 or more to contribute to MCC. If you would like to contribute to your child's SLG fundraising effort, you can do so at the table in the foyer. 
Please enjoy the concert tonight in the honor of those who need our prayers. Allow me to open in prayer and just uh, give this evening to our Lord. Gracious God, we thank you for the opportunity to gather and to be together in community. We thank you that you walk with us, you watch over us, and we thank you for the amazing gift of our students and the families who entrust them to us. As we uh, share in the love of music tonight and give this gift back to you, we pray that you would bless our concert and our, and our students as they perform. We thank you for the work of our teachers and staff in a special way, Mr. Reimer and Mr. Clausen. Um, and we just ask that you would give us safety as we move from here into who knows what in the next days. And, and we know, uh, Lord, uh, that you are with us. And we thank you for many ways that you have continued to guide our school and allowed us to do the many wonderful things uh, that we do here. Amen. Good evening. I am Mr. Reimer, and it's great to have you all here. <laughs> uh, this evening, thanks for coming and joining us uh, with our music. The opening number with all the choirs, I Paradisi, is a freedom song from South Africa, and the translation, In Paradise, where all those who have gone before us are living, may we once again be with them in paradise. This next song, we will, just to give a little bit of context briefly, uh, was written about a month after the events of 9-11, just over 20 years ago. And uh, there was a children's choir from Florida that wanted to um, put something, put a light out into the world. Uh, in the form of music. And so they brought down this composer, Jim Papoulis, from New York City, and they kind of worked together to come up with this song. So it speaks of resilience in difficult times. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. 
All right, as we have the grade sevens come up, let me just give you the quick translation. This comes from uh, uh, Chichela uh, language from Zambia in Africa as well. And the text of this is a kind of a loose translation, is those who have the spirit within them can be called children of God. So enjoy this one from the grade sevens. Just since they're not in the program, I'll just thank Annika Entz and Miles Gunther Hormann for their wonderful percussion playing. Give me, give me hands. And you'll see more of them later on in the show. <clears throat> for now, our grade eights are joining for the next tune, Standing in the Light of Love.
Just very quickly, uh, this tune, some of you might recognize, it's a Garth Brooks tune. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't know the original myself, but uh, I really enjoy this version. So knowing Garth Brooks, I'm guessing the original is pretty good too. So enjoy.
Can you all, can you all hear me? Check. 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 Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Hannah. This is the Junior Vocal Jazz Group. Uh, tonight, we'll be, we will be performing two pieces. One, Feeling Groovy, and the second one is an arrangement of a gospel hymn called Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Thank you. sorry to be missing our one low voice. So as much as I love the opportunity to jump in here, we are missing, <laughs> we are missing Micah. So one more two.
it. Ooh. Check, 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 check. Hello. I'm going to invite chamber singers up. Come on up, folks. That was the junior vocal jazz. Uh, we'll start with a tune that I think everyone's going to know, young or less young. Uh, <laughs> come on. That's a good option, right? Less young. <clears throat> uh, this, is, this song is another one that really um, speaks of hope, I think, and taking a look internally when things aren't going so well in the world and recognizing that we have the power to make change if we make uh, the right decisions in our own lives and that we can actually have a positive impact on those around us. So enjoy this tune.
Um, so this next song we're about to sing is called How Can I Keep From Singing. It's adapted from a Quaker song, and it's really good, and we hope you love it. Can I stop singing? Go oh, to the rock. I'm singing with the rock now. Go oh, to the rock.
junior jazz band that is performing. And, uh, you know, things happen before a concert. We have illnesses and we have to be creative. And we were really creative with this next piece because we have a replacement player here who is a distinguished guest. And I would like us to welcome our guest tenor saxophone soloist, Mr. Kyle Wedlake. <laughs> Have you heard of the Dirty Catfish Band? If you have heard the Dirty Catfish Band, you have heard Mr. Kyle Wedlake many, many times. And uh, he is going to join us uh, also with the Intermediate Concert Band later on. Uh, Cantaloupe Island. Herbie Hancock wrote a very well-known jazz classic called, well, it became a jazz classic, Watermelon Man. And someone said to him, why don't you write some more music about fruit? Cantaloupe Island is what we're going to play for you now. We'll tune and then we'll play.
that's a great thing about having the chairs a little bit farther apart. You can walk right to the percussion section.
This is another melody from South Africa, uh, Siahamba, although Mr. Hilliard in the program calls it African Festival. But this is the Siahamba tune. It's always uh, interesting when you have to introduce the performers to each other on stage just before performing. But uh, we are going to do two more numbers, uh, Zydeco Cajun Crawdad Dance. And uh, this is music that I guess comes straight from New Orleans. So I guess uh, 
Kyle, even though this is sight reading, this is music that's very dear to your heart, I would think. Uh, this is not a folk tune or anything, it's just made up music, but um, you'll see two washboards being played at the back there. Um, some older folk might remember the washboards actually being used for their original purpose, and uh, if they drop them and break, it's okay. I think the warranty is gone anyway by now. But uh, we hope you enjoy Zydeco Cajun Crada Dance. We have many, many people to thank. We're not going to thank them all, but you can see their names in the program, and many that aren't actually in the program, but everything from parents who sewed and put together uniforms and people that help with the live stream. Thank you, Mr. Carrasco, and um, everybody that pinched hit and filled in for people who were gone. And uh, Mr. Reimer is awesome. Let's give Mr. Reimer a hand. And the choirs. And we leave you with one more number. I've been checking the weather off and on. I don't think the snow is flying yet, but it's kind of windy out there. So we're going to end one last tune happy.
Well, first of all, say goodbye to whoever is watching this on live stream, and uh, then I'll have a few announcements for the students. So thank you, whoever is watching this, uh, for being here with us, at least over YouTube, and thank you very much.